All right, we begin by simply breathing deeply, shutting your eyes, if you will, putting your feet flat on the floor, allowing yourself to feel your spine nice and straight and up. And why we feel our spine nice and straight and up is because that spine, that central channel, that anta karana is the doorway of light. It is the doorway for prana to come in. It is a doorway for you to have the connection to the many, many dimensions of yourself. So you begin to just understand with the words, I am more than my physical body. Now for a lot of people that's scary because if they don't think that they're the physical body, they get scared. But you're just not the physical body as a vehicle. So I am more than my physical body. And you begin to just breathe in that statement. That statement where you know that you are more than this physicality. And of course, the physicality of the body includes the clothes you wear, the food you eat, the family you live with, the parents you have, the car you drive. That's all the physical world. But we are more than that. So as we breathe in to the moreness, of course it means you lose the focus of just the physical. And as you lose that focus of just the physical body, you'll begin to feel freedom because you'll begin to realize how this definition of the physical body, the form that allows you to walk the earth, how that definition is very much, quite often, the tool of separation. So as you say, I'm more than this physical body, we want you to begin to recognize that you are an energy field and that that physical body was made from that energy field and that energy field is an electromagnetic frequency and it comes from your soul, again soul as in sun, it comes from your soul, an electromagnetic field and this earth that we are on is an electromagnetic field and the sun that lights up the sky is an electromagnetic field. So we want to tune into now is the electromagnetic field, first of all, of your own nervous system. See your nervous system inside of that body, that form. See it, this network of electricity carrying the signals from the brain all the way down to the organs. Feel it down there. Feel it, the nerves are what gives your eyes the capacity to see, the nerves are what gives the capacity, the nerves are what gives the capacity to feel, to taste. But just see it as an electrical system, you can download a picture of the nervous system and go, wow, I've got a railway system in me and it's a railway of electromagnetic energy. And then as you breathe in deeply and exhale, you begin to understand there's another electrical system inside of you and it's known as the nadis. It's known as the subtle energy channels. And again, even if you don't do yoga, you can begin to feel there are these subtle energy channels inside of you and around you. And you begin to see the same thing. It's like a branches, branches that carry energy. And now we want you to breathe into your brain again, which is the big receptor for the physical world where there are branches and neurons and synapses that allow tributaries that allow the electromagnetic frequency of this world and your own higher soul to come to your body. And as you do this, you allow yourself to say, I open my physical body. I allow the electromagnetic resonant frequency of the highest aspect of my soul to come in and calibrate this physical body so that it may perceive the higher impulses, 
that my soul, my creator, is offering me now in the name of stability for this time. And just do some deep breaths now as you remember what's happening. You are asking your soul to send in a calibrative tool, a vibrational frequency through the noddies, through the synapses of the brain, through the nervous system. And you allow yourself to feel that calibration going through those systems, repairing anything that needs to be repaired, clearing any channels that may be blocked so that this higher resonant frequency of stability can be operating in the physical form. Now those of us who are sitting in circle, you realize beside you is another electrical system and another and another. And those who listen to this meditation, you realize everyone listening is an electrical system and we're all in agreement that we want to calibrate these systems that carry the electromagnetic frequency from the higher realms through this third dimensional realm. And as we feel these other people around us, we recognize that everybody on earth has an electromagnetic frequency. And it's not our job right now to tune into what they're carrying. It's our job to bring as high a frequency as we can for stability at this time of great awakening. We also become aware that even the trees have channels of energy potent channels of energy. We begin to see the trees and the flowers and the shrubs, which we love to look at as design and color, but we begin to see all of these as manifestations of electromagnetic energy offered to us from Mother Earth. And we begin to feel that we want to connect our frequency to Mother Earth so that we can bring the higher energy into usable, active stability. Not separative stability, active stability. And as we do this, we see each of ourselves here as a tree receiving energy from the above and bringing it down to the roots inside of us. And then we also see us bringing up the energy from the earth and moving outward to new life. We are circulators, we are receivers, we are givers. As we breathe deeply now, you allow yourself to begin to tune in to your heart, your emotional body. You allow yourself to know that your emotional body is much greater than the heart. It really is a whole field of energy. But the physical heart is what we often think about as the emotional body or the heart chakra. But we want you to tune into the emotional body. It can seem like a cloud inside of you, but really want you to tune into the emotional body, not just the feelings, not just the heart chakra, but this body of emotionality, this body of fluidity, and be willing to stretch beyond the places that the feelings have come up. Many people are stuck in feelings right now. And again, because we're in an electromagnetic field with 8 billion others, there are a lot of frequencies in the emotional body of humanity. But again, we're not here to fix those. We are here to bring higher frequencies of light to the emotional body, to circulate, to receive, and to give more light. As we do this, we allow ourselves to say, I open my emotional body. I ask for a churning of the emotional nature, which has been stuck in grooves and troughs of mass consciousness, in grooves 
and troughs of genetic lineage in grooves and troughs of human memory. I ask for this higher energy to come in and churn and clear this old emotional stagnation so that I am a true receptor of the higher frequencies of soul that I am. Breathing deeply, long and deep breaths. We allow ourselves now to come to our mental body, that mental body that is very much like a computer, that mental body that stores all the memories of the family, all the memories of the genetics, all the memories of past lives, all the memories of judgments and thoughts and ideas, and it's just like a big computer. And as we all know, sometimes even if you think you don't do much on a computer, the computer stalls because it just has so much data in it. So we tune into our mental bodies now, and we see that there's actually a lot of rubbish in there. It doesn't matter if you think it's righteous and truth. You just allow yourself to realize there's just a lot of old files in there based on judgment, based on ideas, based on fear. And now you're asking the mental body to open so that this higher frequency can come through you and can reorganize your mental body for the very thing that we all spoke about at the beginning. So we can be more stable, more loving, more present with higher understanding as we walk through the quicksand that is happening on our earth. As we say to ourselves, I open my mental body I ask for the old thoughts, the old ideas, the old things that have defined me, that make me feel I'm important and I know the truth to be released so that higher understandings can be categorized within my mental body and I can operate from the higher understandings of what is happening on this planet and how can I bring the spiritual wisdom, power, and love that my soul has for me to offer up to my everyday life. And again, breathing deeply as you feel this. And you might feel your attachment to old ideas, but you just witness it. It doesn't matter if you feel it. You just witness it and go, hmm, I'm very attached to those thoughts. But more importantly, you begin to see the opening in your mental body, which is like a hungry child that wants to be fed mana from heaven. And at this point, we want each of you who are doing this meditation to feel standing behind you, a beautiful being of light, standing there, putting their hands on your shoulders, sending you beauty and peace and reminding you, you are loved and you are not alone. There are so many beautiful beings that may not have a physical body, but they are here supporting you, even if the ones in your direct family are not. And you just allow yourself to feel the gratitude that you are recognized as someone who is capable of staying afloat in the turning tide that we are living in. And just for a moment, let yourself feel that you can lean back into this light being behind you, that you can trust, that you can just lean back and this field of beautiful light is there and you just can feel how much love is there for you and for all of us as we go through this time. And again, we don't need to be greedy with that support. We are here as transmitters. We are here as receptors and givers and circulators. So as you feel that support, just let it run through you to everywhere in your life. And it's like shout it from the mountaintops. We are supported to get through this time. 
We will get through this time and see that ribbons of light spreading out from you and from this group and from all the groups that are in service to the whole. And then see those ribbons of light coming into your lower mind that's filled with all the thoughts, all the opinions, all the judgments, all the ideas, all the polarity. And just see these beautiful ribbons of colored light coming through your mind, coming through the nervous system, coming through the naughty system, coming through the synapses of the brain. And then allowing yourself to begin to see this huge rainbow ribbons of light coming through your central channel, coming down through all the chakras, down to the root, back up over you, back down through the crown, and you begin to see this beautiful kind of toroidal circulation. Light coming in from above, coming down through you, down through your chakras, clearing and then circulating back up until you feel that you are in this field of rainbow light, in this field of rainbow body, in this field of light body, and just sit and receive the calibration. The vibration. And then at this place, I want you to say, if you will, I open my etheric body. I recalibrate to carry more of the higher fields of light that I have developed over many lives. I use this light to clear my channels so that I may stay stable, receptive, open, and loving despite conditions in the 3D matrix that I live within. And again, just see this rainbow light. And then we're just going to all begin to hum. And as you hum, we want you to think about the medulla obligata in the back of the head. There is your mammalian re reflex, which is the medulla obligata. And it is the fight or flight organism. And you are in a mammal body, but you are not a mammal. You are a light being. So this humming that we're going to do as you hum it you're going to hum so that you can really feel it in that medulla obligata and the humming what you're giving in the humming is the amalgamation of all of this meditation your nervous system your emotional body your mental body and your etheric body knowing you are supported to a higher calibration so in the humming that you do you're humming to let your animal nature know that you are light and that it can lift up out of the genetic inherent animal nature organism and it can carry the frequency of the light body. So we're just going to do just a bit of humming like a bee. Mm -hmm. humming and see the hum go into all the systems of the body, the nervous system, the circulatory system, the lymphatic system, the brain system, the adrenal system. Just see the hum delivering the light. All the issues you might have experienced this week in the earth where you feel there's been such density, so everything so solid, just see the humming going to that and dissolving it. And now as you hum, allow yourself to feel that beautiful light is being poured into you. 
you are in a state of receptivity, not just activity, but receptivity. And as we hum, we allow ourselves to remember the hum of all the bees that are pollinating the flowers. Flower by flower by flower, they carry, they vibrate. We're vibrators. We feel that we're connected to nature. We feel that we're connected to the rhythms of the earth. Allow yourself to feel the Chinese meridians in your bottom and hum to those meridians. There's a bowl of crystals in the room. We're humming to the crystals. We're energizing the crystals, the beds of crystals in the earth, reminding them that we are active participants in the evolution of consciousness of this earth and of our species. to the higher frequency, which is your own higher self. And the, the body that's tired, the body that's emotionally upset, the body that's mentally angry, just let that lower body vibrate to this higher frequency now. Earth's vibration. She's vibrating big time now. Her frequency is increasing and increasing and increasing and we have to increase with it. We sit here now humming our lower bodies to higher frequency, feeling the earth in our higher frequency. We begin to understand this idea of the channeling today, cosmic highway. We begin to understand that we are in a cosmos. There's a very high order playing out in our world. There's a lower order, but we are tuning into the higher order. We are instruments of the higher order. The entire vehicle, body, emotions, thoughts, feelings, energy. Just now, before we begin with the channeling, we remember this sound that we're all making here, and we've heard it all <coughs> out in the gardens, passing by, a big bee will pass by, and we hear this vibration, this buzz. And we see that that buzz just goes into a flower, and it crawls in, and it collects what it needs, and then it takes that to the next. And for us now, we're feeling what really is happening on this planet is we are fertilizing the earth with the higher frequency. And the whole world will wake up eventually. But it's not to worry if you have to wake up the masses. 
It's where are you going to fertilize? Where are you going to take your vibration, this vibration? Where are you going to take it and offer it? And then you offer it and then you move on to the next one. And then when you go to the next one, you receive and you give. You receive and you give. You receive and you give. So in your own world, see the people in your own world. You're giving and receiving to them. You're receiving from them. Even the wee little children now, some of them are such high frequencies beings. Even the old people lying in an old folks home ready to die are high frequency beings. You were operating in a system that has been designated a long, long time ago. This is the time of awakening. 